Today's lesson is on multiplication patterns. It's lesson 1.5. The essential question is, how can you use basic facts and patterns to multiply two digit numbers? In unlocking the problem, the question asks, how close have you been to a bumblebee? The actual length of a queen bumblebee is about 20 millimeters. The photographer shows part of a bee under the microscope at 10 times its actual size. What would the length of the bee appear to be at the magnification of 300 times its actual size? So when you're coding a problem, the first thing you want to do for the test is you want to find out the question. The question is this. What would the length of the bee appear to be at the magnification of 300 times its actual size? The other part of coding is figuring out what numbers you're going to need. The other part of coding is finding out what numbers you're going to use. So in this problem, we're going to be using the 300, and you're going to circle it, the 10, and the 20. Use the base facts and patterns to multiply 300 times 20. We know that 3 times 2 is 6. If we make it 30 times 2, that's the same thing as saying 3 times 2 times the first power of 10, which is 60. If we make it 300 times 2, then we know that that's the same thing as 3 times 2 times the second power of 10, which is 600. If we make it 300 times 20, that's the same thing as saying 3 times 2 times 10 times 10, or 6 times the third power of 3, which would be 6,000. So the length of the B would appear to be about 6,000 millimeters. The next question asks, what would the length of the B shown in the photograph appear to be if the microscope shows 10 times its actual size? Well, we already said that it's about 20 millimeters times 10, which is 200 milliliters. Example, use mental math problem to solve 50 times 8,000. Again, going back to basic facts, we know 5 times 8 is 40. So 5 times 80 is the same thing as saying 5 times 8 times the first power of 10, which is 400. If we change that to be 5 times 800, that's the same thing as 5 times 8 times 10, or the second power of 10, which gives you 4,000. The next question adds an, a, another base to the 5, making it 50 times 800, which is the same thing as 5 times 8 times 10 times 100, which can also be represented as 40 times the third power of 3. So you would get 40,000. The next one is 50 times 8,000, which was the original problem, just adding another zero. It's the same thing as 5 times 8 times 10 times 1,000. Also could be represented as 40 times the fourth power of 10, which is 400,000. Under share and show, if I look at 30 times 4,000, I can use mental math. I know that 3 times 4 is 12, and I know that if I'm using my base 10, just like I've did in the past, I saw a pattern that with every power of 10, I added a zero. So in this one, I have one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna add my four zeros because when I was doing the repeated multiplication and I was adding the power of 10, I always added a zero. So using the base facts to help you, you're gonna wanna use three times 4, which equals the 12. Using mental math to help complete the patterns. 1 times 1 is 1. So 1 to the power, the first power of 10 is going to be 10. When the second to the, times the second power of 10 is going to be 100. Again, we're noticing that same pattern. Sorry, my pen's not writing. There we go. We're noticing that same pattern. So 1 times the third power of 10 is going to give us three zeros, or a thousand. Okay, looking at problem number 3, I have 7 times 8 equals 56. So I can take 7 times 8 times 
The first power of 10 is going to give me 560. 7 times 8 times the second power of 10 is going to give me 5,600. 7 times 8 times the third power of 10 is going to give me 56,000. Problem number 4 has 6 times 5. Well, 6 times 5 is 30. Oops. Sorry about that. 6 times 5 is 30. And 6 times 5 times what power of 10 is going to give me 300? Hopefully you said the first power of 10. 6 times 5 times what power of 10 is going to give me 3,000? And following the same patterns we've had, it's going to be 10 or the second power of 10. Sorry, that's really hard to see. That should be a 1 and that should be a 2. On the next one, I have 6 times 5 times what power of 10 is going to give me 30,000? Following with the same pattern, this should be the third power of 10. So again, this is, should be a 1, that should be a 2, and that should be a 3 in the exponents. I'm sorry for the um, faulty stylus here. Okay, on your own, what I'd like you to do is pause the tape right now and take a few minutes to try the on your own by yourself and then come back and check the work. Great, let's check your work. 9 times 5 is 45, which is, if I'm doing it to the first power of 10, 9 times 5 to the first power of 10, I should say 450. 9 times 5 times the second power of 10 is 4,500. Following the same pattern, 9 times 5 times the third power of 10 is going to be 45,000. Problem 6 has... 3 times 7, which is 21, and the next line says 3 times 7 times the first power of 10 is going to be 210. The next line reads 3 times 7 times the second power of 10 is going to be 2100. And the last one, sorry I can't see that very well, but it's 3 times 7 times the third power of 10, which is going to give me 21,000. Number 7 has 5 times 4, which is 20. And 5 times 4 times what power of 10 is going to give me 200? You should have said 10, the first power of 10. 5 times 4 times what power of 10 is going to give me 2,000? You should have said 10, the second power of 10. 5 times 4 times what power of 10 gives me 20,000? You should have said 10, the third power of 10. On the next one, on number 8, we have 5 times 7, which is 35. 5 times 7 times what power of 10 gives me 350? You should have said the first power of 10. 5 times 7 times what power of 10 gives me 3,500? You should have said the second power of 10. 5 times 7 times what power of 10 gives me 30, or 35,000? You should have said the third power of 10. Looking at problem number 9, we have 4 times 2 equals 8. 4 times 2 times the second power of 10. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 2 to the second power of 10, however, is 800. Don't be tricked. You know, because the pattern that they had prior, it started out with 1, 0, then 2, 0, then 3 zeros. But this one starts out with the second power of 10. And remember in the patterns that we've seen before, the amount of exponents in the power of 10 is usually how many zeros there are. So 4 times 2 times the third power of 10 is going to give us 3 zeros, which is 8,000. 4 times 2 times the fourth power of 10 is going to give us 80,000. Number 10 is 6 times 7 equals 42. 6 times 7 is 42, um, but times the second power of 10 is going to be 4,200. 6 times 7 times the third power of 10 is going to be 42,000. 6 times 7 times the fourth power of 10 is going to be 420,000. Number 11, using mental math to solve the problem. So we know 6 times 6 is 36. And we know that the power, or the first power of 10 is going to give us 1, 0 or one place value, so we're going to have 360. 7 times 4 we know is 28. 
and we know that the power of 10 is going to give us three zeros and 28,000. Now we're 13, 9 times 8 is 72. When you multiply it by the second power of 10, it's going to be 7,200 or 7,200. Number 14, we have 4 times 3, which is 12, multiplied by the second power of 10, which is going to give me 1,200. The next one we have 2 times 5, which is 10, times the third power of 10, which gives me an additional 3 more zeros, which is 10,000. 2 times 8 is 16, multiplied by the second power of 10, gives me two more zeros, which is 16,000. Six times five is 30, multiplied by the third power, 10, which is three more zeros, because three and three, so that's 30,000. Eight times eight is 64, multiplied by the fourth power of 10, so I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, so it's gonna be 640,000. 7 times 8 is 56. Multiplied by the fourth power of 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to have five, 560,000. Use mental math to complete the table. Number 20. One roll equals 50 dimes. So think about it. 50 dimes per roll times 20 rolls equals 5 times 2, if I'm doing my basic, times 10 times 10, so I'm using my um, powers of 10. So 20 is 10 times the second power of 10. 30 would be 15 times, oops, let me fix that. Fifteen times ten to the second. Forty would be twenty times the second power of ten. Fifty would be twenty-five times the second power of ten. Sixty would be thirty times second power of 10. 70 would be 35 times the second power of 10. Are we starting to see a pattern here? 40. 80 would be 40 times the second power of 10. 90 would be 45 times the second power of 10. And 100 would be 5 times the third power of 10 or if we're following the pattern where we're having and then multiplying it times the second power of 10, it would be 50 times the second power of 10. 21 is one roll equals 40 quarters. So think about it. 40 quarters per 